Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now I want you to turn to that in your Bibles. I want you to see that in your Bibles. Romans chapter 10, verse 17. You can put a little star by it. I'm going to compare some things uh, this morning. I have a New World Translation. Now who's the, who uses the New World Translation? Anybody know? Who uses the New World Translation? Jehovah's Witness, right? Jehovah's Witness, New World Translation. Well, of course, that can't be the Bible, right? New World Translation, Jehovah's Witness, can't be the Bible. He doesn't say yes. Yes, you can say yes. That's right. Can't be. Right? Then we've got a New American Standard Bible. Now, my history is I used to use this, I used this for 10 years. My background is Lutheran. I got saved. Actually, the Missouri Center was using the KJV Bible. Uh, I got saved as a Lutheran, went off to college. A good godly friend of mine said, uh, you know, I was in a Bible study. said, you know, if you, used a, if you use the New American Standard Bible, it would be easier to understand. We're all using the New American Standard Bible. So he said, okay, I'll use the New So I said, okay, I'll use the New American Standard Bible. You can go in here and you can see all the notes that I took and underline everything. I, to this day, I still have trouble memorizing Scripture. Because I memorize scripture out of this. Right. So anyway, we'll talk about New American Standard Bible. And then the last one we'll talk about, New International Version. Right. Now, well, this was, John Rice said this is a good one. Right. The NIV, I guess uh, James Dobson thinks this is a good one. Right. Joel <laughs> Steen, those guys, right? Uh, we got a New King James Version Bible. Uh, Jerry Falwell thought that was it. I thought I could use on the committee for that one. So this is a big major player. Uh, New World Translation can't possibly be a Bible. It's from the Jehovah's Witness. Can't possibly be. But it looks like a Bible. It says it's a New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Holy Scriptures. Yeah. New American Standard Bible recommended by all the you know, fundamentalist colleges. And it looks like a Bible. It's got the chapter and verse markings like a KJV. It's got the right order of the books. It's, it's pretty much, you know, what does it call itself? The New American Standard Bible, reference edition, then the NIV. All right? Now, so then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. All right? Now, hearing the Word of God is so important that the Lord Jesus Christ mentioned it in Mark chapter 7, verse 6. So go to Mark chapter 7, verse 16. I think it's 16. Mark chapter 7, verse 16. I'll show you what it looks like. Here's a, new, here's, a, here's a New World Translation. This is what it looks like in a New World Translation. There is nothing, blah, blah, blah. There is no 16 in a New World Translation. You got Mark chapter 7, and 16 is gone. It's just got a dash. Well, that's a New World Translation, right? Jehovah's Witness Bible from the devil, right? No helpers. They don't even believe in the right Christ. I mean, they can't possibly have that right. So they just, they got rid of the verse. Well, how about the New American Standard Bible? C. Marks will know. Somebody will like that verse. Now, those are red letters. If you've been in you're in Mark chapter 7, verse go to Mark chapter 7, verse 16. They should be red letters if you have a red letter Bible. Those, these are the words of Jesus Christ, okay? Faith come by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. By the way, uh, can I borrow somebody's watch? Anybody have a watch? They're not worried about the time. Yeah. Well, I gotta, I gotta make sure we what time is it here? Oh, it's upside down. Oh, of course. At first I thought we heard it. It was four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're doing fine. All right. Uh, thank you, brother. All right. So, C. Marshall note. New American Standard Bible matches the NIV. Oh, uh, well, see, that was, you know, they didn't have the updated, you know, they didn't have the updated manuscript evidence, they obviously. They couldn't possibly match the New World Translation. Well, let's look at the New International Version. I just happened to find the New International Version is kind of pink. <laughs> and 
to the pink cover. It's pink on mine. It's not quite pink up there, but it's pink on my computer screen. It just so happens, okay? Just so happens. I won't go any further with that, okay? Now, NIV. Look what the NIV does. You got, can you see it? 14, 15, 14, 15, 17. Right. They didn't even put the number in there. Now, why don't they go 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? They must be comparing themselves to a standard, don't you think? Well, I wonder what the standard is. I wonder what has verse 16 in it. Anybody guess which Bible has verse 16 in it? Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, it's the King James Version Bible. Mark 7, 16. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Yeah. Now, who wouldn't want you to hear the words of God? Did you say the devil say? Did I hear that? I heard the murmuring across the crowd. Now, what's amazing, every time I ask that question, what's amazing is I did not tell you that. Did you just ding, ding, ding? Did you just see that? <laughs> I did not tell you that. Somebody, like the Holy Spirit, told you that. Who would not want you to hear the words of God? The devil. So, he takes you and rips the words of God right out of Jesus' mouth. Mark 7, 16. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Well, let's go to Mark, I mean, let's go to Luke chapter 4, verse 4. We'll go to the New World Translation again. That isn't the Bible, right? No hellers. But isn't it amazing how the New American Standard and the NIV match the New World Translation? What, what self-respecting Baptist is going to use a New World Translation? Here in Prattville, you know, the heartland or the sort of the Bible Belt. What is a New World Translation? Go to Luke 4.4. 4. This one says, But Jesus replied to him, It is written, Man must not live by bread alone. Something missing. Yeah, every word. <laughs> but of course, that's a New World Translation. How about the New American Standard Bible? New American Standard Bible. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread, live on bread alone, period. That's the Bible I used for 10 years in college. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the what? Word of God. Word of God. Somebody doesn't want you to have the words of God. Doesn't want you to hear the words of God. Here's our pink Bible, New International Version. Jesus, Jesus answered, it is written, man does not live by bread alone. They all match up. Who would not, oh, well, I'll show you what. Who has the right rendering? King James Version. That Luke 4.4 4 has been in that Bible. In any Bible, polygot, you can go any language back to the first century, Luke 4.4 4 has been like Luke 4.4 4 has been like Luke 4.4 4 in your KJV for centuries, centuries, centuries. Who doesn't want you to have the words of God? Yeah. yeah. It's Satan. Right. In, in the beginning, in Genesis, he says, Yea, hath God said? Question God's word. So, and Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. 